When it comes to drop bar gravel bikes, with the ability to run two different wheel sizes, huge tire clearance, aluminum frames with carbon forks, and name brand components, there's really not that many options in the lower price points. But what's in front of us here might be one of the most surprising bikes from Specialized because this at only $1,300 comes in with the ability to do all the aforementioned features and options that you might want in your next gravel bike, but from a reputable company and name brand components. This is the Specialized Diverge E5. And we're gonna go into those features and designs, talk about this bike, as well as finding out exactly what it weighs. So talking Specialized Diverge. Now I came out in the beginning and said, there's not that many options in the lower price ranges for drop bar gravel bikes to do a whole bunch of different capabilities. And that I believe is definitely true because when you look on the market, most of the lower priced gravel bikes lack a couple of things. The first would be tire size. Now this bike itself rocks 38 millimeter wide tires out of the box. Nothing special there, lots of brands do that as well. But the 700C wheel set can run up to 47 millimeter wide tires. Now a 47 millimeter wide tire is a pretty chunky setup, as well as this bike can also rock 650B wheels with 2.1 inch wide tires. Now 2.1s, that's gonna give you a nice fat, meaty, mountain bike style tire on here, and Specialized is able to do that by running this beam construction from their bottom bracket that effectively allows them to get some more tire width without elongating the rear end and making the bike ride wonky. Now this does run what they call their E5 butted aluminum frame, which means it is a butted tube set. You're gonna have mounts on the top tube, mounts on the down tube, seat tube, and below the down tube as well. And then up front, it rocks a carbon fork, which comes down with, of course, mounts on it, rack and fender setups, through axle up front and through axle out back. Now, when we look at some of the other bikes that are out on the market, lots of times a few of those things are gonna be omitted. Maybe it's not through axle, maybe it doesn't come with a front fork, maybe it doesn't have all that tire clearance, but if you're getting into a bike and trying to save a few bucks at the beginning, your options really are a bit limited. You also have the used market, which requires confidence and knowing what you're looking for to find that older bike that has all the features needed, or you have this guy here at 1300 bucks. Now, value be what it is, you make that decision for yourself. But I think it's pretty cool that you can get a bike that runs two different wheel sizes, that has those features at a $1,300 price point. That means should you upgrade over time, you can. Granted, keep in mind it's always more cost effective to buy the bike from the beginning with the parts that you want versus upgrading. But then again, you can't make it your own that way. Speaking of the parts that are on this bike, along with that beautiful yellow frame, you've got Shimano's Claris drivetrain. Now the Claris drivetrain runs inside button to go to harder gear, the whole lever over to go to an easier gear, and you've got eight speeds on the rear and two speeds up front. Now those two speeds and eight operate a Claris drivetrain out back. In a perfect world, you would have something with a clutched rear derailleur for a bit more chain retention, but personally, I still like running doubles up front, even on a gravel bike like this, because for the most part, this bike is gonna do a lot of pavement riding, even to and from your gravel rides. And up front is the Shimano RS200 crank set. This is an interesting combination of subcompact and compact chain rings. Basically, it's a five by 110 setup, normal bolt pattern for the front crank set, but that, typically features a 34 tooth chain ring, which this does, 34 or 36 for a mid compact, but in this case, a 34, which is a compact chain ring size for your small, easier gears, but the large outer gear would traditionally be a 50 tooth with most compact setups. However, it's running a subcompact 46 tooth up front. So a nice little combination out of the front crank set with a Claris front derailleur, and then out back, you're gonna have an 11 to 34 spread on this eight speed cassette operated via a Shimano Claris rear derailleur. Now that shifting system connects up 
to some 700C Axis Elite wheels. So these Axis Elite wheels operate with a Pathfinder Sport tire, 700 by 38 millimeter. This is a place where personally I would want to see a little bit nicer setup because this is a non tubeless tire setup. However, as you upgrade, you could put some tubeless tires on and while Axis from Specialized does not directly say that their Axis Elite wheel set is tubeless capable, I know plenty of people have set it up. Now, of course, 12 by 110 up front, 12 by 142 out back, and then braking is a mechanical setup, clamping down with a one piston Tektro Mira flat mount caliper. And then the handlebar is going to be a compact alloy handlebar. And then you'll notice this nice and short stem. Well, that's because this bike, the E5 variant of these bikes, runs a shorter reach slacker head tube angle than the prior generation. So they've slackened out the front end in a size 54, it would be 71 and a quarter degrees with a reach on a 54 of 383 and a stack of 578. So that means the front end is nice and tall. The reach is a bit longer than the prior generations, which means they have these nice stubby stems to keep the overall cockpit size the same. And out back is a 27.2 seat post with a specialized bridge saddle up top and the ability to run rack and fender mounts on the back end. Well, with all that said, I think it's time we find out what the specialized E5 Diverge weighs. And the actual weight of the specialized Diverge E5 comes in and weighs. 24.08 pounds, which is pretty solid considering it comes with these pedals that are probably worth about half to three quarters of a pound.